Hey y'all, it's Shantae. So today I wanted to talk to you about, as you can see in the title, I want to talk to you about Dahlia. So of course, <laughs> don't mind that I have two different packaging. I'll explain to you you that later but if you are new go ahead and like and subscribe my name is Shantae the channel is Hippie Hustle and we talk about fragrances here we talk about running lifestyle and books so go ahead and subscribe I'm heavy on my Bath and Body Works content so if you're here for that go ahead and stay all right so let's talk about it so this is available right now in SAS for 75% off. And I wanted to go ahead and give you a review on it and what I think about it. So here is the packaging for Dahlia. It's in their new faceted packaging. Um, I think it's pretty it's pretty. It just came out with the new fall line. And this packaging is from the 20. 19 release which i was able to find this packaging in both the body lotion and the moisturizing cream in last summer sass so i was not able to find the spray in it and i was quite disappointed i went ahead and i bought an inspired body oil and i'm going to talk to you about my experience with dahlia so the notes for Dahlia is velvet, Dahlia petals, crisp pear, and praline musk with whipped tonka bean. And this is what happens when I spray it on my skin. So I do have to give you a little preference. I'm about to go on a run, so that's why I'm so greasy. I have on all my moisturizers and my sunscreen because the sun is out where I live. And I'm going to be running for a long time today. So we're running nine miles today. So excuse the fresh, greasy face. So let's talk about it. So on the top, I get the floral. All straight up off top, I get that floral. And then... As it dries down, that pear comes, but it's a sharp pear. It's that kind that like cuts you in the throat. And then at the bottom, when it is dry, you do get a little bit more of that vanilla bean, which softens the scent. The combination of the scent notes, it's not like the lotion. I haven't smelled this year's drop, but in this particular year's drop, the lotion, that velvet, that vanilla bean is very strong so it's more of a vanilla bean and it's more of the pear and the floral kind of plays around in the background which i appreciate so what i experience and this is just my experience when i spray this is that combination of the musk and the floral with that pear it kind of really overloads my it overloads my nasal passages. Like, it's like my nasal passages are like, what are we doing? What are we doing? And therefore, it gives such a complex and complicated scent profile that it comes off to me as I smell on my body as incense. And so I'm not really a fan of incense. And that's why I don't like musks mixed with florals because they give like a smokiness when it comes in for me. And that smokiness comes off as incense, like like a sweet, smoky incense fragrance. And I really don't like that very much. So I'm gonna say that's how I feel about the spray. I really don't think I like this spray because the vanilla is not there. It almost pulls together as a very strong ambrette. And I love amber, not necessarily ambrette. And that gives that, that profile that you should only be wearing it if you're going somewhere. Now, I'm a casual spray girly. I wear spray to go run. I wear spray to the gym. I wear spray to bed. I wear fragrances everywhere. And I like to have different fragrances to be able to do so such but with this one this is a like you have to be going to a sophisticated place only so put this in the same family as fairy tale um chasing fireflies um into the stars the more perfumey 
profiles that have been coming out lately. And like I said, I'm not sure how I feel about it. So if you want to go out and go get it, I would never discourage you from doing that. But I'm not sure how I feel about these two. So like even drying down like that musk and those um, flowers is just not giving me a complete and concentrated profile. So like when you think of a, when you think of like Bath and Body Works pairs, they're pretty rare. So in the past, we've just gotten Poolside Colada, which is like a clean, nice green fragrance that just smells good and it's something that you can wear over the summer and in vacation and we know that about that one whereas we have a gourmand pair a pear cream brulee which came out in 2019 and that is gourmand that's like a pie that's like sweet and that's syrupy and that's just something that we know about this one they often put pear and other scents and I can't really think of them right now but I do have a video about it and I'm gonna put that in the cards about scents with pears in there and the way pear is because pear to me is like apple like it really like bursts really strong on your senses I need it to be in a category are we clean are we fresh are we fruity perfumey is not a fragrance category and that's what I have with this one. And so that's my beef I have with Dahlia. So right now it's 75% off. I have a hunch. I don't have any inside information, but I have a hunch that either today or tomorrow, probably tomorrow night, we'll probably get an extra 20% off coupon. And that'll probably make this around the $3 or $6 mark. And at that price point, I think you should get it. If you are a girly who wears your fine fragrance mist um, for special occasions, you go to church, maybe you um, have business meetings, those types of really formal settings, I would say go ahead and get that. That's not me. <laughs> Even in my job, I'm not like super formal. So for me, I'm almost feeling like I might unhaul it. But I'm going to wait um, to see if I can um, rock it out a little bit. But the lotion, at least in this packaging, gas. Love it. I feel like it's the best thing ever. The spray, it almost gives um, roach spray, okay? No shame in my game. I know, I know what roach spray smells like. <laughs> so it's, it's giving like that roach spray. And Brett does that to me. So... That's kind of like my thing. I do have an inspired body oil of it and I love it. Um, but the spray, I, I'm not feeling it. So yeah, that is my review of Dahlia. Do you have Dahlia and what do you think about it? And do you agree with me? And if you don't agree with me, tell me why. Okay, love y'all. Bye.